Lauren and Michael, in presenting your children for baptism, you are affirming your faith in God's promises and are showing that you desire your children to be followers of Jesus Christ our Lord. Do you promise to teach the word of God to them, to love them, pray for them, and to help them in every way as God gives you opportunity so that they may become true disciples? If this is your intent, would you answer, we do. The upbringing of these children and all of these children can't be assumed by the parents alone. Since we are members of one another in the fellowship of the church, the responsibility of caring for children must be shared by us all. Do you members and regular attenders of this congregation promise to do your part and in receiving and caring for these children as one of Christ's own? If this is your intention, would you answer, we do. We do. You have no idea. Joanna May Keezer, I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And I mark you with the sign of the cross so that you will always remember to whom you belong. Joanna, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Okay. Now how about Carolina? Carolina, will you come to me? You want to stay with dad? You want to stay with that? Okay, that's it. Come over closer. <laughs> Carolina Jane, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and I mark you with the sign of the cross, so that you will always remember to whom you belong. Carolina, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his face upon you and give you peace. Amen. Now, Elizabeth, come on over here. Elizabeth, do you know that Jesus loves you? And do you want to be his follower all of your life? Yes? Okay. Elizabeth rose on the basis of your testimony of faith in Jesus and your desire to serve him. I now baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And I mark you with the sign of the cross so that you will always remember to whom you belong. Elizabeth, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance to you and give you peace. Amen. The scripture says, Behold what manner of love the Father has given to us that we might be called the children of God, for that is what we are. Amen. Amen.